I am going to record one more video so that you will definitely understand because it's definitely from the audio recordings that you have, definitely will become obvious that it was me who was there with you in Bosnia. Uh, when, when it was about some kind of military installation, uh, so one, two military installations, they, they, they thought about taking it over. And they had like a fucking chance, real chance, to just walk inside, basically take the guns in their hands and be armed, basically. And when it all started, I took initiative. I saw myself as a leader over there. I told them, you do this right now, I told you. You do it right now. And when I acted like this, it was, and I'm pretty sure it was a cross that... There was actually also Slovenian side present. There was a Slovenian side also present. They had Igor Baucar and they had, at times it was Igor Baucar, at times it was even Janez Janša that would drive me over there. It was not only the police. I see. Uh, when I gave an order and I wanted to be heard clearly like a leader over there, because I had nothing to lose. If they would say, shut the fuck up, I would be quiet. If they would say, um, I'm just trying to give you an idea about my maturity at the time. My maturity time was based on super diverse, super experienced politician. Uh, where I was growing up, the classroom was not a classroom. The classroom was full of all kinds of uh, plots, conspiracies, uh, setups, all kinds of crap went on. Uh, and my schoolmates were literally were instructed by the politicians, not only teachers, to act like small politicians. It was all kinds of stuff that went on inside of there. And the thing is that I figured out that if they're going to tell me to shut up, I was sure I was the youngest one. I shut up. I don't have a problem. I shut up. I shut up. Uh, the thing is that they screamed me over meaning that they had other people that would start to voice their opinion and other people that would start their opinion. And the only thing I did was like this. I was just quiet and didn't want to have anything to do with it. Uh, important to note, however, is um, once I became silent, uh, this voice is again raised concerned about what I think. Well, I, I didn't want to have anything to do with it anyways, because on the site, they also suggested there are bad guys around us, watching us. So this environment was everything but stable, giving one absolutely, I should say, totally depriving one, absolutely depriving one of having his voice heard. I would rather say intimidation. It was a systematic gradual intimidation, which order came from Slovenian side. Slovenian police that was present with the people at times like even Baucar in Jansha. What exactly they had going on, I do not know. It was like a little assembly every time and this conflict incidents took place. These people were not always present. One way or the other, somehow, I they let me loose from this Udba people and I would find myself again on another location and so on and so forth. On one occasion, uh, the Croats, uh, because they lost interest in it, because I felt that I'm being overpowered by voices of other people, I remained, didn't want to have anything to do with it. I said, there's also no 
no necessity for me to take, take any risks. I shouldn't be here anyways, and this and that. This is not my problem. If this is what you know better and so on, you do what you... But they really, really wanted to sicken me, basically make me ill with what do you think? What is the right course to do? What do you want? Basically, you want to say self-determination or whatever issues, which British royals, however, refer to in later period as mental illness. They classify me as mentally ill because I wanted... Slovenia is an independent state because I want it like this and not like that and so on and so forth because I didn't want to integrate into some ideas that are no use to me based on the past which nobody knew better than British royals. Sadism. Uh, not sarcastic, but this is sadism. That actually really is mentally ill stuff. Um, probably if you repeat person long enough and person is not mentally strong, he will succumb to those issues, probably. Well, I thought this is very, very important to note, uh, as that Croat insisted that my opinion is very important. I started to raise one, and I didn't want to be silenced anymore. Because he stated to me that they're all behind me, that I'm the one whose opinion counts, and so on. And uh, then I let myself loose on at least another three occasions when I would absolutely would not allow anybody to speak about absolutely anything. But it was always like this, like in a remote controller, ping, and, and you're gone, basically. What that means is that they use, they introduce probably in your blood a little extra, whatever substance, and you are simply dismantled. Uh, taking away your uh, concentration, concentratia, uh, diverted into some other bullshit direction, which they did, and I didn't want to have nothing to do with it before I finished that other issue. But the violence always prevailed. The one that uh, has a button on uh, syringe, that one always prevails, basically. He's always completely correct, completely right. I don't think I can associate to Yansha or Bord Power or in absolutely anything, any of these people. I think these people are fake as fuck, as anybody is fake, as anybody can be fake. I am very much authentic because I'm mentally strong enough. I have taken all this stuff and described you exactly what went on, how it went on, where I was, how I was, how they even wanted to change perception and interesting about the Milan Kochan was when they rehearsed uh, the news actor Josip Brostito here in Slovenia. This is fucked up guy, this Milan Kochan. This is Borat Pahor. Uh, got actor that would uh, they used people actually to obtain statements from me acknowledging them with my voice that Josip Bros Tito uh, in fact uh, like deputized me gave me an order uh, to run Western uh, Yugoslavia previously known as Bosnia, Croatia and Slovenia separately from Serbia uh, because uh, disaster that Josip Bros Tito have subjected himself to, men who had a steel nerves, they claimed me, men who never loses the nerves, yet they told me he only lowered himself once. It wasn't once, it was all the fucking time to demand from the locals here in our man in Bela Karina to get me destroyed. Enough that he was audio recorded, actually, that I managed, thanks God Almighty, bring this beast to degree, this leader, that he would actually give a verbal statement against five-year-old child, and probably I was even four-year-old child, 
when he already demanded this kind of procedure. It wasn't five, probably I was four, maybe even earlier, who the fuck knows. I know it was really early. I know the fire department was involved here from Lochna, from Novo Mesto. Not only police, it was people that would attend whenever Josip Broz Tito would come. I know my relatives from Bela Kraina, they would use children to torture me, my cousins that are older than myself, that I knew they were my cousins. And I didn't fucking understand what the fuck, I mean, what the fuck is this, I mean? My cousins, my people from Bela Kraina that I was always thrilled, happy to see, turned my stay in Bela Kraina into hell. It was experience like you would go to the fucking hellhole. With my grandmother, uh, I would not fucking recognize my grandmother and everything. It total stuff that you that one possibly could not imagine, but that in real life was just not. It just didn't fit there. Basically, the picture, somehow, it was just discomfort. And I remember my cousins had a problem with engaging in torture against me. But it was their parents that would come and say, just do whatever we told you. And they labeled me as, uh, as a Nazi, I didn't even know what the fuck Nazi is. And I was keep I remember keep asking them why? 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 And it was my cousins that would come to me and say, listen, they, they uh, listen to me very good, they said Bushan. Uh, do whatever the fuck we told you to do if you want this to stop. We were gonna tell you this once. And this is a little no, they were not so little, but I was very little, and they were also, some of them were little, and some of them were just a few years older than myself. Uh, and I was like, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing, what, where the problem was. And so they said, you must like Josip Broz Tito, and you must like National Resistance, Svobodina Fronta, uh, the things you must like, you must not like, the, you must not say that you don't like, but you must say that you like. Uh, that, I did not know what the fuck that was. I know, all I knew is that I hated as hell. Wherever that uh, Osvobodin La Fronta was, I hated as hell. Uh, I did not consider my mom, her brother, my aunt, that all were enrolled in partisans during already World War II because of the degree of violence. Simple as this. And guess what happened? My cousin stated, hey, but he said that he liked Kosovo-Bodina from He said that he liked national resistance. He said that he liked partisans and so on. Why, are you, why, why then? Why then? And it was the uncle who said, he no longer is alive. But this is the man who video recorded, probably video recorded, not only audio recorded, this Hitler from Belgrade who came to Bela Kraina. He was the one who got him. One of the people who got him. One of the people who got him was my uncle. He said, just fucking do whatever we tell you to do, or you're going to be the one, they're going to do this unto you. If you don't want him to be beaten up and stuff like this, we, we're going to do it to you. They're going to do it to you. Whichever, whichever, whichever way you want. And then the cousins, they proceeded with this shit from Belkrain. This is the way it was. This is the way it was. This is the way it was. And I know the people also, some people that told me they have this audio recordings. If in case you doubt about this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff is a 100% legitimate witnessing. It's just that, would you dare to even think to speak about the stuff, any of it, in a country like this, if you would be born like this, they can... The only thing that happens is they throw you into the psychiatric hospital and, like they say, Stemmeiser, they beat the brain out of your head with electroshocks. I don't think so. You only get few of those, teachers told me already in the first, second and first grade, they told me. You only get few of those. With the antidepressants, is different, but with electroshocks, 
You only get few of those, and then you're never again yourself. Thanks for watching this video.